to the growing concern over what some are calling the Benghazi shuffle. Reports have surfaced this week that four State Department officials thought to have been relieved of duty in the wake of the deadly Benghazi attack may just be switching desks. Now some in Congress, including our next guests, are asking for answers. Joining us now is Republican Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton, chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congresswoman, you're Thank trying you. to get information out of the State Department on the job situation of those four employees. So were they fired, reassigned on administrative leave? What have you heard back from the State Department? Well, this is such a shameful uh, episode for the State Department. They keep bungling uh, everything related to, to Benghazi. First, uh, the four Americans whose lives were lost, even though they repeatedly asked for more security, the consulate was overrun uh, by uh, al-Qaeda uh, uh, operatives. Uh, the administration wanted to weave this web of lies about, oh, it was outrage over a video that slammed uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad. That was bogus. And now we have this, where the State Department purposely misled the American people, saying that four individuals in the State Department, high level, were going to lose their jobs, that the secretary had accepted a resignation of Eric Boswell, for example, one of the heads of the security, when, when uh, the truth is that he resigned in that position, but he has his portfolio includes other positions within the State Department. He hasn't been punished at all for the security lapses in Benghazi. And the other three are on administrative leave, basically a paid vacation over the Christmas holiday, and they'll be back uh, in another capacity in the State Department. No, they promised heads would roll, nothing has rolled. That's why we're looking forward to having Secretary Clinton appear before our committee by mid-January, because she's got a lot to answer for. Why, is, why are they purposely misleading the public, making it look as if employees were uh, punished or, or left their jobs, when in fact nothing has happened? They just shifted the deck chairs. That's it. Nobody's paid a price for the death of those four brave Americans. Unbelievably shameful. That independent review board that looked into this whole thing and, and issued a report, made its recommendations, it found that Assistant Secretary for Diplomatic Security, Eric Boswell, you just mentioned him, and the three others essentially did a poor job of making sure that U.S. personnel on the ground in Libya were safe, were secure, especially in that Benghazi facility, that, that they sort of left them in a dangerous situation. So what do you think should happen to those four people at the State Department? Well, the State Department will try to make it sound, and I'm sure the Secretary Clinton will try to make that case, that if they only had five billion dollars more than uh, we could prevent another Benghazi. The truth is that this ARB report points out that there's systematic failures with, within the, the entire structure of the State Department. They need an inspector general to make sure that people are doing the jobs they're supposed to be doing, and it's not a, a matter of funding. Actually, the State Department has enough funds. They have misplaced priorities. They want to fund global climate change programs, culinary uh, ambassadors, Ships, all of these bogus uh, areas that have nothing to do with diplomatic security. So I think that the State Department has to be honest with us about what they're going to do with these four employees. But it's not a matter of these four individuals. It's systemic management flaws within the State Department that must be addressed. And that's what we want Secretary Clinton to uh, answer to. But I wonder, not just four Congresswoman, people. I wonder if. This is, if the State Department views this as, this as one of these sort of Washington things that if you lay low, it kind of goes away, unless there are people like you talking about it. Is that the calculation, do you think? Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Uh, not only do I think that they want this to blow over, just like they wanted Benghazi to blow over, and thank you for always uh, keeping that, uh, that light shining on the four brave Americans, Stevens, Woods, Doherty, uh, we need to, and Smith, we need to talk about them all the time. But they also might be buying their silence. That's what I want to know. Are they afraid that these individuals, were they to be punished, that they might retaliate by, by telling the truth about what's happening? happened with all of those uh, askings of, uh, for uh, more security and all of the intelligence reports that were ignored all right, we're about just wrapping the dangerousness up. of the consulate. We're just wrapping up here, but real quick before we have to let you go, do you think your best prediction here for 2013, will you hear, will we hear from Secretary Clinton under oath about Benghazi? 
She must. I believe that she will answer. Uh, I, she's a very smart individual. She will answer the questions. But we want to know, when is this going to stop? The lying and the purposely misleading uh, to the American people. American people want and demand the truth. And she's got to give it to us. All right, Congresswoman Ilya and Ross Layton, and thank you for joining us today. Happy thank New you. Year. Thanks, Molly. Thank you. You too. Russian President Vladimir Putin is under fire for...